a man who is a woman is not admirable to me at all even if you are dangote son hi beautiful people welcome back again to my youtube channel hi how are you doing hope you guys are doing so well so guys it's been a couple of months since i did the q a and i have gained a few subscribers and i'm like okay it's time for this for my new subscribers or for people who have been watching my channel for a very long time now to know a little bit about me and which other better way to know me is by sending in some fun juicy questions for me to answer that way the fact that you see me on vlogs you know you want to know something really some personal personal juicy things about me so guys i'm here to spill everything as it is asked in this video i'm also going to call out the names and all the questions from the individuals who took out time to write to write these questions and i want to say thank you guys so so much so if you are new to the channel hi it's mercy here please go ahead don't leave so soon please take a moment hit on the subscribe button it is absolutely free and also uh, click on the notification bell that way you don't miss out on any of my uploads okay so without further ado let's start spilling some tea <laughs> so guys as usual i have all the questions here on my notebook you guys ask a couple of questions like there are a lot a person will ask me about four or five questions and very very interesting ones i must say but yeah like i said i'm going to call the names and also read out the questions from each person okay so the first person is my namesake her name is also mercy she's an amazing youtuber as well link to her channel will be in my description box so please do let's check her out and she goes by the name dbj manka thank you the first thing she wrote down is you look so beautiful and happy in this picture namesake thank you so so much she's referring to the picture i posted on my community tab asking you guys to send in some questions that was just a happy day for me i went to visit the grand mall here in douala so just in case you're interested in that video link will be in the card somewhere here please check it out so her first question is are you in a relationship <laughs> i get asked this question each time i do a q a so i remember the last time i did a q a i was telling you guys um my relationship we separated and it's only obvious or it's only right for you guys to ask me if i'm in another relationship right now yes answer your question i am in a relationship even though i'm still doing shaka shak shakara things but it's just like you know me knowing the person but yeah we're just starting off so yeah in, i am in a relationship okay the next question from her would what would be considered to be the red flags in your relationship guys the number one in fact the num the oga kwata kwata of them all will be a man raising his hand to beat a woman like god i can't stand it i was in a relationship in my school and my boyfriend slapped the hell out of me and guys that is something i will never take from any man i don't care who you are in fact guys i don't see any reason why a man should raise his hand on a woman i don't there's no excuse as to why a man should raise his hand on a woman what if you go ahead and kill that woman just raising you don't know people's health so it's a red flag for me the second thing i would say is disrespect guys i love my respect because i'm that kind of person that i love to give you your maximum respect and i expect that you reciprocate that respect but sometimes that people can really get you annoyed but with respect comes with a lot of backups like you can love somebody but you not respect that person but when you respect somebody love is attached to it so i just feel like respect is the most important thing sometimes they will love me just respect me <laughs> the next question is where do you see yourself five years from now this is another question i get asked 
so many times but to answer your question of course married with kids my youtube channel growing from strength to strength by the grace of god do you have a mentor no i don't have do you love pets if yes what's what's your choice of pets i love cats when i was still a teenager we used to have so many cats in our house because of too much rats <laughs> so yeah moving on the next question is from barbara's reality this is like my big sister here on youtube hi barbara <laughs> the first one of course is a compliment and she said you seem very organized from watching your videos and getting to know you more thank you so so much yes i hate scatter <laughs> I hate the scatter environment to be honest. So she has about five questions for me. And the first one is how do you budget and plan your finance? Okay, this is a very, very important one, and I pray that I answer it correctly. Of course, I have a nine to five, and that is the only like that's my 95 source of revenue in my life right now of course i do make up but this makeup jobs don't come irregularly so i solely depend on my 95 and my 95 doesn't pay that much and they don't pay on time planning and budgeting doesn't really it's not like a constant thing i would say like every other month so but of course no matter what you have you have to budget for it so i always budget of course my house rents my bills those are major major things that i always like put in place and my groceries my food i buy them in bulk so just in case you know they skip a month from my salary i know that i'll never grow go hungry <laughs> is there anyone special now yes like i said answering from manka's uh, question yes i'm seeing someone at the moment and yeah what is your deal breaker in a relationship i think it's the same question from my first um from the first person i hate physical fights and also disrespect those are my deal breakers in a relationship as an african there are some things you can endure, but there are some things that you cannot endure. I don't know about Europe, like in the white man's country, they consider a lot of things to be deal, deal breakers. But for us Africans here, yeah, we can we can tie hats. <laughs> but for me, don't lay your hands on me, a big. Like you are done. Which of your parents are you close to? My dad. Yes, I'm so close to my dad that i tell him anything like i feel comfortable confiding in him and he will not judge me my mom you know mothers your mommy will start hala you for your head decrease you don't get sense eh? you don't get sense that kind of <laughs> but my mom is, a, is the sweetest okay just that <laughs> mothers i don't know we have our ways <laughs> and the last one from her is how long have you been in the choir uh, I joined the choir in 2014 when I just moved in here in Douala to do my uh, in university to do my higher national diploma in a private no not private in a professional institution yeah so I've been in the choir since 2014 that should be eight years now so moving on the next person is from RXN Dom Mimi I hope I pronounce it well. <laughs> um, she says, Hi, Mercy. Love you and your content is amazing. Thank you, my love. Just wish to know how many siblings you have. Um, I used to have six siblings. Right now, we are just four of us left. I've lost two of my siblings. And yeah. Her second question is, Hi, Mercy. I wish to know what level of education you have and the universities you attended. As of now, I have the higher national diploma and I attended the university. It's not university, I didn't attend any university. I instead went to a professional institution called uh, Institute the University du Gulf de Guinea. In, in short form, we call it IUG. It's around Dokoti, Pekka, Pekka Wit, yeah. Around Pekawi, that is the only university I, I attended. 
I would have wished or loved to go to UB, but my sponsor, my elder brother, was like, Nana, professional university, here you come. <laughs> and I think this is the last question from her. I also wish to ask a very personal question, if you don't mind. Hmm. Okay, let's move on. I wish to know should in case you don't get married and god forbid god forbid <laughs> would you be open to becoming a single mother well you rightly said god forbid i forbid not getting married becoming a single mother is not a crime okay if in case i don't get married tomorrow of course i want to raise my own babies okay i want to have my own babies and it's not a crime to become a single mother i think with hard work and it's not going to be easy to be honest because i've watched so many single moms here on youtube and i have seen their struggles like i feel their struggles i feel what they go through raising a child or two alone i don't wish to have that for myself because i'm not that I'm not that active like that, like my elder sister. My elder sister is the most productive woman I've ever seen in my life. She is so active. She can get herself in so many different things. What I'm just trying to say is, I don't mind. I have colleagues who are so proud of their kids. They are so proud of themselves. Like I, I personally, I'm so proud of them. So I don't mind. Moving on, the next one is out with Chimex. Hey boy, hey bro, what's up bro? <laughs> Uh, this somebody I haven't met in person, but the way we vibe, right, it's just like we've well, met already. So uh, his first question is, what has been your worst experience being a YouTuber in Cameroon? And I haven't really had the worst ever. I've also had a situation whereby I was filming and, you know, Dwala and his also bike, this bike man wanted to snatch away my phone. So yeah how do you manage to stay consistent given the fact that you have a job you have a job okay so i think i have filmed a video explaining how i jungle between my 95 job and as a content creator here on youtube i'm going to link the video somewhere here so please check it out she makes just catch up on that video okay but just to answer your question a little bit um i film my videos all my videos on sundays like what i'm doing right here today's a sunday and i'm filming this video okay um like sit down videos like this i film them on sundays sunday is my filming day for vlogs you know how vlogs will you know you can capture any beautiful moments in your life for more clarification that video will be in my description box so please check it out you understand everything about me you know handling youtube and my 95 and still stay consistent here on youtube okay the next one from here is why were you absent from the last youtubers meet and are you going to be present for the next one <laughs> she next you so you so i'll go fire again for the dollar <laughs> um yeah the last one was something that i still can't believe i had to be absent for that particular youtubers youtubers meet and eat or meet and you know connect because uh my best friend in fact from the male side was um graduating as a pastor in kumba so i had to travel for you know to support him that's why i couldn't make it for that event okay but hopefully this upcoming one in november fingers crossed i am going to attend i pray i attend okay uh if that answer your question then we are done with you <laughs> moving on to paris but on that this is my girl and we are planning to do a collab video so please look out for that Paris Batonda is a very, very amazing YouTuber here on YouTube. She films uh, makeup, vlogs. She's a very, very good. Her videos are always top notch. Like, this girl is so beautiful. Ah, the first I met her, in fact, let me just concentrate here. <laughs> 
Mm. What are your thoughts as far as married couples are concerned? Do you think a man should pay for everything even if the woman makes money? If the man wants to, why should I prevent him not from paying? You know, men have their pride and as the head of the relationship or the family, if he can afford it, what is my own? He should pay. For me, eh, he should just take care of everything. Okay, even though I'm making my own money. But as a man, I will want him to just pay for everything. But if we, if he, it is comfortable for him, for me to support as well, which I would love to, because it also makes me, you know, a productive woman in the house, not just about sitting and just enjoying, even though that's what I would love. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to support in my own little way if he permits me. Okay, it's all about dialogue. The next question, moving on, is from Linda Atem Keng. Thank you, girl, for taking our time to ask me these questions. So my girl said, have you, have you started receiving the checks from YouTube yet? no i haven't our second question is oh you are so soft spoken which makes me wonder if you ever get angry or if people get on your nerves <laughs> oh my god this is so so funny oh my darling to be honest eh i try not to get angry because why not my name is mercy see sometimes they do you know name the follow character <laughs> name the follow character there are times when somebody really really get me annoyed and i want to get angry but i just laugh that's why people don't take me seriously because for the most part i am just always laughing creating jokes just be foolish and stupid at the same time <laughs> so but to answer your question yeah there are people that really get on my nerves but you see this life is too short okay this life is too short you don't want to carry people in your heart for more than 24 hours or even more than two hours what i mean is saying more than 30 minutes you don't want to so immediately someone gets on my nerves and i just laugh over it to be honest i just laugh over it moving on from journey with elieno oh hi girl thank you so much where do you see yourself in the next year to come okay now what looking at 2022 hmm 2022 i should be rejoicing with two bundles of joy twins <laughs> I'm here. so i should be you know i should be a mother of twins twin boys twin girls you know out of this small house that i am right now and living my best life ever okay how has 2021 been so far my darling it has been super challenging to be honest and uh, it has been super super amazing because i have received help favor from people i least expected just when i feel like everything is not working for me god just sent someone to bless me with something and i'm so grateful it has been challenging in the sense that i've been trying to get out of this house for the longest time but something just keep pulling me back i want to go something keeps pulling me back but i just thank god and god has been faithful to me to be honest guys god has been faithful but you know we are humans and we have to overcome challenges when they come we try to overcome them but you also have to be grateful for the good things, the amazing things that also come. So I would say 2021 has been amazing. Do you, you seem good with makeup? Any plan on, you know, taking your makeup talent for that? Yes, 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 and yes. Um, I love makeup and I love to make people beautiful. Okay. Yeah, we are naturally beautiful, but we want a little touch of that beauty to come out even better. So I want to enroll in a professional, you know, makeup class. Of, okay, because every makeup skill I have right now is solely on YouTube. Like I learned how to do makeup on YouTube. Nobody taught me, you know, so I want to take it on another level, like a professional way 
that way when i charge you 20k or 50k you have any reason give me that money because right now when i do makeup people pay me five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand but taking on another level you will not pay me less than 100k <laughs> the last question from her okay this is not a question it's a compliment lastly i like your personality thank you thank you so much my darling i really appreciate this so moving on to steph dingena dingena i don't know if it's dingena or dingena please forgive me for pronouncing your name the way i'm doing right now so her question is where do you work for your nine to five and what does it entail um uh, i work at the Douala seaport and i'm a secretary okay <laughs> um the last question for my beautiful girl gretel hi gretel um she has three questions for me and these are the last three in this q and a her first one is do you intend doing youtube long term mm, yeah of course yes of course i started youtube in 20 16 it's not 26 or 2015 and we are now at 2021 so of course this will be something like a whole like a lifetime thing okay um the second one from her how do you jumble between youtube and your nine to five like i said when she makes asked me that question i have a video on that but then to answer your question my darling um I film all my videos like sit down like what I'm doing right now this is a Sunday afternoon I'm filming this video so I try to film all my sit down videos everything about YouTube I film them on Sunday but if you want to know in detail on how I jump bull with you know 95 and YouTube the link of that channel will be of that video will be in the description box so please my darling check it out okay very very important you understand better now last but not the least is what's one of your biggest turn off in men a man who is a woman is not admirable to me at all even if you are dangote's son don't touch don't lay your hand on my body so guys wow wow that's a lot thank you guys so much for taking our time to ask me these questions i hope i was able to answer all the questions to your expectations and i hope i didn't miss out on anybody's question but just in case you are not part of these um, questions and you want to know more about me please still go ahead and ask your questions in that community tab if you're watching this video and maybe you did not ask me any question i'm still open to questions okay just go ahead and leave your questions down there and i'm also going and i'm going to do another q and a on that okay so don't feel left out all right but that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you watch up to this point god bless you and click the subscribe button if you haven't already smash that like button and i hope to see you all in my next video stay blessed stay safe bye